AM 560, The Answer. Hey, welcome back to Chicago. You're listening to Get Down to Business. And as you know, I have been uh, making a conscious effort every week on this show uh, to bring in uh, business owners uh, that uh, that are you know retired military currently serving in the National Guard and Reserves, uh, highlighting the amazing, amazing contributions of service members. And I'm thrilled, long overdue, and bringing in my good friend Robert Lewis, who is the program manager for the Illinois Hire Heroes uh, Consortium. It's an incredible, incredible effort, um, which uh, of Illinois employers that are recognizing the great value. Uh, veterans bring to the workplace and operationalize that term veteran friendly. So, uh, Robert, such a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you, Shalom. It's a pleasure to be on your show, man. It's long overdue, as you said. Long overdue, and we're going to highlight some of the incredible work that you um, and some of your colleagues across state governments are uh, are committed uh, to uh, improving the business landscape for uh, for those that have served our great, great country. So, uh, Robert, I love to get to know the person behind the microphone. Um, you have served, and uh, I want to talk about your service and how it's led to where you're at right now. Um, you're not an Army guy, but I still let you in on, on the show. Tell us a little bit about your service. Yeah, you're a great host, but uh, I won't say you chose the wrong branch. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I uh, man, I'm a uh, United States Marine Corps veteran. Um, and by the way, Shalom, thank you for your service, man, and everything you're doing for the business community, man. It's outstanding. Thank you, sir. Uh, so my military background, uh, four years in the United States Marine Corps, I was a 1391, which is a bulk fuel specialist for my service uh, subject-based matter expertise. Um, I also served uh, on a um, deployment with the Navy, I was able to pretty much go to every continent uh, and serve in every space uh, that I, I once dreamed about going to. My service was one of the best times of my life, probably the second best decision besides marrying my wife. Um, <laughs> but your service has continued, um, which is a yes. very common theme, and that really ties into everything that we're going to talk about. Your service has continued and your commitment to help others serve um, has become a major part of your professional life. So you retire from the Marine Corps and, uh, and now aside for a number of other things, um, you are in the world of state government, um, but in particular in managing the program of the Illinois Higher Heroes Consortium. Let's get right into it. What is IHHC? Certainly, so IHHC is the Illinois Higher Heroes Consortium. Uh, it's a joint partnership between the Illinois Department of Employment Security and the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs. Um, what we do is uh, we recognize and operationalize employers um, who want to be seen as veteran friendly. Um, they want to follow initiatives uh, that will make them experts in recruiting, hiring, and supporting veterans on a new career. Um, and so we do everything from uh, subject-based matter expert classes virtually now with uh, COVID-19 in place. Uh, we also hold uh, hiring events and resource fairs uh, with our 200 plus IHHC members across the state. So if there are any employers out there who'd like to be known as veteran friendly, we'd love to have you. Uh, and um, we do a lot of things with our partners, uh, the Chicago Wolves out in Rosemont, Illinois, also Edelman Public Relations, KPMG International, just to name a few. Uh, that's incredible. And I know that there are three pillars, which are really all call it in the world of human resources, but really anybody that is listening to this program, if you are a business owner, you need to be a part of IHHC. I know that uh, that I've heard from so many of our listeners that are indeed call it military friendly, veteran friendly. It's not just if you have an employment opportunity. Let's get into it. there are three pillars, recruiting, human resource training and retention and support practices. Robert, can you give us a little bit of the explanation of, of how IHHC is coordinating um, the, uh, the incredible efforts of Illinois business owners? No, absolutely. So every year, uh, unfortunately, this year, we were not able to have the third annual IHHC luncheon and certificate presentation where we recognize new IHHC members. Uh, these members 
uh, in our consortium, uh, they not only understand veteran culture or military and family veteran culture, uh, they understand and operationalize these terms that we've put in place. So one of the key things is uh, understanding the translation of military service into a corporate setting, knowing how uh, a veteran's uh, experience on what a colleague of mine calls planet veteran, uh, everything that they learn, everything that they do, is completely different uh, as far as how it, uh, it presents itself in the corporate America world. So I help them with those translations. I create a bridge, if you will, between the veteran uh, candidate and the employer uh, who would like to hire them. So we make it to where their talent acquisition specialists, their hiring managers, as well as their recruiters are well equipped to do that job. And I should mention that the IHHC, again, the Illinois Higher Heroes Consortium is a, uh, is a program housed within the Illinois Department of Veteran Affairs. And really the work of IDVA is really to completely and totally support um, those that have served. And uh, that begins um, while somebody is serving. Um, many of us in the military are, are, you know, we know our DD-214s and our discharge documentations and all that sort of good stuff. Um, but it also continues all the way into the veterans' home. So we're going to have to squeeze in a quick break, Robert. And when, when we get sure. back, we're going to talk about, um, about the law. And we're going to talk about the proactive things that any business owner and any entrepreneur, really, that, that might be tuning into the show, um, really can do to support that veteran community. Robert, um, you know, from IHHC, just thank you for all that you're doing. We're going to be back and continuing the conversation in just a very quick moment on the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. We live in a world. AM 560, the answer. Hey, welcome back. I've been chatting with Robert Lewis, the program manager at the Illinois Hires Heroes Consortium. Uh, just an incredible, incredible, incredible effort of, uh, of supporting uh, those that have served as well as uh, really consolidating and bringing together Illinois employers um, that, uh, as Robert has said several times, operationalize that term veteran friendly. Uh, so, Robert, we were just talking a little bit about uh, the law. There is USERA, which is the law that relates to uh, hiring uh, those uh, that might be currently serving in the uh, Guard and Reserve um, but you really take it a step further. That, that's, that's the call in reactive. You're very focused on proactive and talking about the, the advantages that, that veterans bring to the workplace. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of those advantages and what you have experienced firsthand. Oh, absolutely. Uh, during my four years with the Marine Corps, um, you know, one of the things I always tell folks uh, when they ask about my service, uh, they ask me what my job was. And, and I tell them, you know, I was a 1391 bulk fuel specialist, but it encompassed so much more. You know, not only was I um, an expert with my rifle, not only was I combat trained, but uh, my training also, you know, I was a hazardous material uh, can a person who was specialized in handling hazardous materials. I uh, cross-reference work with the Navy, I cross-reference work with uh, the Air Force. So we did so many different things, so many different duties, that it's really hard to um, just say I was a bulk fuel specialist. So leadership skills, you know, as an E3 or an E4 in the military, um, you're easily uh, a couple years into your service, you're already understanding your job uh, as an expert, and you're able to teach the younger uh, candidates or veterans that are or military personnel that are coming behind you. So you're able to share that experience. So you have that management uh, type level of experience. I tell people that just because uh, the person was maybe not have the, the rank of sergeant, um, you have to look at the fact that they were either a lance corporal or a corporal. That person has a level of management that could easily handle a staff of 10 to 12. Uh, so, you know, a lot of things come into play. Uh, not only are we self-disciplined, not only do we have a self-motivation bone in our body, but we're, we're able to take on tasks whenever given, and we do it selflessly. Um, so we're always service first minded. Um, that's something important to realize. Um, and then the all important thing that people ask me, well, because of your service, uh, do you ever get tired 
of giving. No, if I joined the military, if, you, if a person joins the military and they had service in their heart, they're always that person. Um, it's just a matter of the capacity in which they can do so. Well, it's, uh, and I apologize to our listeners for all the Marine Corps talk over there, you know, in the Army, we, <laughs> we, we, we have different, uh, we have different ranks, but um, Robert. We got um, something for him, though. We got something for him. <laughs> that's right. Well, I appreciate your service um, and your continued service. Um, and, and really, uh, right now, while we might be in a tough economy and everybody, you know, is talking about the unemployment, the reality is that companies will need to hire fast and attract talent. That's what IHHC, the Illinois Hires Heroes Consortium, is really all about. So, Robert, I want to make sure our listeners know where they can find you and the incredible work that you're doing. Um, what's the best website, phone number uh, that people can reach you at? A direct number to me now during COVID-19 is uh, 708-916-3653. Uh, I'm also uh, on the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs website, so that's uh, uh, just Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs dot org uh, under the link of Illinois Hires Heroes Consortium. Um, you can find me there. I'm also on LinkedIn, Robert Lewis. Uh, you can find me there and uh, looking forward to meeting whoever wants to uh, come aboard. And I urge all of our listeners, uh, no matter how many employees you might have in your company, contact the Illinois Hires, Hires Consortium, contact Robert Lewis. Robert, thanks for your continued service and uh, come back and share those stories with us. Um, to success. Let's get down to business. We'll talk to you next Sunday right here on AM 560. The answer, check out my website, shalomkline.com. I'll be back next Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on AM 560. The answer. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss the opener?